What's the supernaturally frightening thing to happen in history? The Rochester Mirage is pretty wild. An atmospheric event happened over Lake Ontario in 1871 that essentially acted like a giant lens. It amplified the view of Toronto across the lake. It's normally well out of sight, observers could actually see buildings and carriages moving around on the other side of the lake. At a nuclear power facility in Japan in 1999, there was an accidental release of radiation that ended up poisoning three workers. One of them, Hiroshi Aochi, was brought into the hospital and the doctors set out to keep him alive for as long as possible, because they didn't often get the chance to study a person with radiation poisoning. They managed to keep him alive, in horrible and constant pain, for almost three months. He wasn't able to speak after the first ten days. By the time he finally died after 83 days, he basically had no skin left, all of his organs had been replaced in function by machinery, and his body had been dying cell by cell the entire time. The Sea Peoples, and their destruction of every major civilization along the Eastern Mediterranean during the Late Bronze Age. Nobody is quite sure where they came from, or if they migrated to the areas they conquered or not. All the historical records we have on them are sparse, the Egyptians are the source of most of our knowledge on the invasions. Some historians theorize that the reason for the later end of the Bronze Age in Europe is because of them. The Carrington Event a massive solar storm that struck the Earth in 1859. On the morning of September 1, 1859, amateur astronomer Richard Carrington ascended into the private observatory attached to his country estate outside of London. After cranking open the dome shutter to reveal the clear blue sky, he pointed his brass telescope toward the sun and began to sketch a cluster of enormous dark spots that freckled its surface. Suddenly, Carrington spotted what he described as two patches of intensely bright and white light erupting from the sunspots. Five minutes later the fireballs vanished, but within hours their impact would be felt across the globe. That night, telegraph communications around the world began to fail, there were reports of sparks showering from telegraph machines, shocking operators and setting papers ablaze. All over the planet, colorful auroras illuminated the nighttime skies, glowing so brightly that birds began to chirp and laborers started their daily chores, believing the sun had begun rising. Some thought the end of the world was at hand but Carrington's naked eyes had spotted the true cause for the bizarre happenings, a massive solar flare with the energy of 10 billion atomic bombs. The flare spewed electrified gas and subatomic particles toward Earth, and the resulting geomagnetic storm, dubbed the Carrington even was the largest on record to have struck the planet. A similar storm today, it is believed, would send us, briefly, into complete electronic and electrical darkness. In Edgar Allan Poe's only novel The Narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym of Nantucket, published in 1838, Richard Parker is a mutinous sailor on the whaling ship Grampus. After the ship capsizes in a storm, he and three other survivors draw lots upon Parker's suggestion to kill one of them to sustain the others. Parker then gets cannibalized. In 1884, the yacht Mignonette sank. Four people survived and drifted in a lifeboat before one of them, the cabin boy Richard Parker, was killed by the others for food. Here in Argentina, in 1989, there was a case of two girls who were found nude and dead in a bathtub. The autopsy showed up and stated that they were dead for at least two months. Many people claimed to have seen the girls alive just two days before. One of the girls was at a hospital because she had a fever. The girl hadn't taken the medicine that the doctor gave her. They were not suffocated, nor intoxicated by carbon monoxide, nor electrocuted. Fast forward four months. A judge decides to investigate case. The investigator came back and found that the bathtub, that was emptied, incubated again lots of fauna and was filled with water. They had theories about this, nothing confirmed. Fast forward a year. An investigator came with an hypothesis, the girls were injected black mamba's poison in their heart, which accelerated the decomposition process. But we are in Argentina. Where in the hell can you get a black mamba in Argentina? Later it came out that the oldest brother of one of the victims had a reptile house with two mambas. The judge ordered that he had to be captured but they never found him, and he's still a fugitive to this day. They then went to the morgue to investigate the hearts of the girls, whose bodies were freezed for the investigation, to confirm the poison hypothesis. And this is the final touch, all of the sudden, the hearts disappeared. They couldn't find them. Albert Fish was pretty damn scary. He would take kids and kill them, and then he would eat them as part of his cannibalistic ways. 
After all of that, he'd write letters to the kids' parents, telling them how they tasted and how much he enjoyed it. I think the creepiest thing I have read about so far is the Civil War in Liberia, it involved large amounts of child soldiers who were taken from their families, drugged and convinced slash forced to do war atrocities. So basically during this war there were roving gangs of drugged up youths who would perform human sacrifices and eat people, apparently they also cross-dressed or wore outrageous outfits thinking they would be protected by them. Vice interviewed a warlord from that time General Buttnaked, yes that was his name. You can tell this guy is a psychopath because of how friendly and slick he is, just to imagine that he ate the hearts of 14-year-old children before battle sends chills down my spine. Here is an account where two men went to the police claiming they had been abducted by aliens. According to the sheriff who interviewed them, they seemed genuinely scared to him when telling the story so he got the idea to leave them alone in the room to talk amongst themselves. Little did the alleged abductees know. The room had a hidden mic in the room to record their conversation. They went on to talk to each other about how terrifying the experience was, totally convinced that what they described really happened despite being left completely alone. Two Brazilian electricians killed themselves in a very bizarre fashion for reasons that seemed completely incoherent. When a small team of police and firefighters arrived on scene, they noted the body's odd conditions, the two males were lying next to each other, slightly covered by grass. Each wore a formal suit, a Lee dye mask, and a waterproof coat. There were no signs of trauma and no evidence of a struggle in the surrounding area. Next to the bodies, police found an empty bottle of water and a packet containing two wet towels. A small notebook was also identified, with cryptic instructions, in which was written, 1630 be at the agreed place. 1830 swallow capsules, after effect, protect metals, wait for mask signal. The Wreck of the Titan was a book published in 1898, which accurately mirrors the wreck of the Titanic, giant ship, hit iceberg, not enough lifeboats, same size slash dimensions slash passengers, etc., 14 years before the Titanic sank. Maybe not the creepiest in history, but locally, we had a really bizarre crime take place. A man and his girlfriend lived above a voodoo shop in New Orleans and out of the blue, killed her, and chopped her up. He even seasoned her as if he was preparing a meal. However, there was no evidence of actual cannibalism taking place. He ended up committing suicide from the guilt over what he had done a couple weeks later. Jotlev Pass A bunch of hikers went on an expedition to the Ural Mountains in Russia. They never returned and a search party found them mutilated and naked. They also broke out of their tent with knives and some were found with orange skin. The wounds were similar to radiation poisoning. One hiker was even missing a tongue. The official report I believe said an avalanche killed them. The funeral was closed casket. I think two things. First, the Velisca Axe murders in Iowa back in June 1912. A family of six, four children ages 5 to 11, as well as two of the children's friends were sleeping over, ages 8 and 12, were all sleeping when they were hacked to death by an axe in their sleep. Lack of evidence seems that they were killed by someone who was never found. Second, Pedro Alonso Lopez. This man was 66 years old and between 1969 and 1980, he was reported to have killed between 110 to 300 plus girls. In 1983 he was found guilty of murdering 110 young girls in Ecuador alone and confessed to a further 240 murders of missing girls in neighboring Peru and Colombia. However, the maximum prison sentence for murder in Ecuador is 16 years but he was released after 14 years for good behavior I think and then he was committed to a mental hospital where he spent three years there. In 1998, he was released. In 2002, he was wanted for murder but hasn't been found. The Vlentich disappearance is always spooky to me. It's not necessarily actually supernatural or anything, but basically a dude flying his plane reports a strange aircraft following. The last thing anyone hears from him is something like it's hovering above me again. It's hovering and it's not an aircraft and neither he nor his plane were never heard from again. A man was found dead in Australia on December 1, 1948 with no discernible cause of death. He had no identification on him, all the tags had been torn of his clothing, and the police were unable to match his dental records. He had a scrap of paper with the words Damon Shoot printed on it, which translates roughly to ended. Later a suitcase believed to be the man's was found, 
It contained more tagless clothing and a rare copy of a translation of an Islamic book of poetry. The words tame and shoot had been torn out of one of the pages. In the back of the book was an assembly of numbers and letters resembling some type of code, though no one has ever gotten anywhere with it. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.